Hello, my name is Amir. I'm pleased to say that I'm a dental surgeon and I'm here to talk to you about a sore throat and I'm here to talk to you about glandular fever. So if you look at somebody's mouth, like I do all day, and the mouth was red and the tonsils were inflamed and the pharynx was inflamed, it is likely, isn't it, that we are dealing with a viral pharyngitis. That is the collective name we give to a whole group of viruses which can do this. A whole list of them. Like the common cold viruses, the echo viruses, the adenoviruses, the Coxsackie viruses, the Coxsackie A and the Coxsackie B, the rhinoviruses and influenza. And then there are these three specific fevers which can cause you a sore throat like mumps, measles, whooping cough, etc. They all cause a viral pharyngitis. They're all spread by droplet infection, by sneezing and by coughing, by sneezing and coughing on your children, on your colleagues and your partner. And they all give you a sore throat and fever. And enlargement of the jugular lymph nodes in the neck the jugular lymph glands. They may be associated with muscle pain, particularly so if you're dealing with Coxsackie. Coxsackie B, myalgia, is sometimes referred to as bone home disease after the island of the North German coast where it was first discovered. But severe muscle pain are a feature of Coxsackie B and sometimes there is a rash and sometimes there is a thing called hand, foot and mouth disease which is viral in origin and nothing to do incidentally with foot and mouth disease in cattle. You make a diagnosis which is entirely clinical. So if you look at somebody's mouth and it was red and the tonsils were inflamed you will be dealing with a viral pharyngitis. You take a white blood count, but that will come back as normal because we're dealing with a virus. You may, if you're enthusiastic, take a swab or a throat washing. And if you are very enthusiastic, like your good self, and dealing with Coxsackie and Echo, you take fetal specimens and actually look for the virus. There are no complications and patients usually recover very quick. And the treatment is analgesics, honey and bed and loads of love and patients recover real quick. And it's an extremely common cause of a sore throat. And you see it very much 